India's indigenously developed light combat aircraft, the LCA Tejas, after more than three decades of development, is finally ready for mass production, as soon as it gets final operational clearance, which could happen any time in the coming months. But, Indian Navy's outright rejection and criticism from all over, has raised many questions regarding its success or failure. The LCA, as is the case with all major defense research and development projects, is a mind-boggling case study of delays, slippages, compromises and mismanagement. And so in this video, we will study Tejas's timeline, to see what caused these delays, and is Tejas a success or a failure. Year 1969 The urgent need to replace the aging fleet of MiG-21 fighters, which had been the mainstay of the Indian Air Force for quite some time, and the success of India's first indigenously developed, HF-24 Marut fighter aircraft, motivated India to develop a next-generation, light, multi-role combat aircraft. And thus, it was decided that a fast, highly maneuverable, light, next-generation tactical air support aircraft, with advanced avionics will be developed for the Indian Air Force. To achieve this, the aircraft had to feature tail-less delta-shaped wing design, with fly-by-wire and advanced digital flight control system. This type of design would mean that, India will also have to develop a relaxed stability system, to keep the aircraft from falling off the sky. The only problem was, that no other country, not even the USA, at that time had developed a relaxed stability system. But, just as India's LCA program was about to shut down even before commencing, the USA revealed the F-16. The F-16 was the world's first aircraft to feature relaxed stability system. And thus the LCA program went back on track, and the Indian Air Force was asked to submit a project requirement report, to begin the development of the aircraft. This is when the first delay happened. Year 1983 Five years had passed since the F-16 was inducted into service, and the Indian Air Force still did not submit the report. And thus the project officially started in 1983, without IAF's report. In 1984, Aeronautical Development Agency was established, along with other facilities and infrastructures, which were necessary in order to develop the LCA. By the end of 1985, the ADA had finalized the design of the LCA, and was sent to IAF for consideration. A year later, the IAF finally released the project requirement report. This report rattled the ADA. The IAF had requested complete overhaul of the weapons system along with many other features. This meant, that the LCA now had to be redesigned. Year 1990 A review committee was set up, to solve differences between the ADA and the IAF, and also to check whether all infrastructure, facilities, and technologies, were in place for the Phase 1 development. The review committee gave its green shit to the Ministry of Defense, and work on the LCA finally started. The next technological challenge for the ADA was, to develop a tail-less delta-winged structure, using composite materials, along with a digital flight control fly-by-wire system. A technology, even the most advanced nation lacked. While other systems such as engine, radar, and other avionics, were to be developed with foreign help. Year 1998 the new Atal Bihari Bajpai government, fast-tracked every scientific project that was currently going on. As a result of which, LCA's design complexities was solved in record time. Not only LCA, all other projects started running smoothly. It was the golden era of Indian scientific advancement. But, in a surprising turn of events, India conducted its first nuclear test. Rattled by the failure of its intelligence agencies, USA along with many other countries, imposed embargo on India. And it was decided, that no other country will provide technical help in any form to India. This unnerved the Prime Minister, and in a bold move, it was decided that not only LCA, but all other projects will progress without any foreign help. And thus in the following years, 
massive indigenization programs were launched. And even though India at that time, was not at all capable of developing indigenous technologies, the indigenization of LCA went ahead in full swing. But just as everything seemed back on track, the War of Kargil took place in 1999, and all major fundings were stopped to all defense projects, this happened just when DRDO was struggling to develop, the multi-mode radar and the Kaveri engine. Year 2001 Finally, after years of delays, the first prototype flew in 2001. Overwhelmed by this, the Prime Minister renamed the HALLCA as, LCA Tejas. Tejas is a Sanskrit word for brilliance. This was a remarkable moment in the Indian history, as India finally demonstrated the world, that it can develop a tail-less delta-winged shaped aircraft made up of composite materials, which in itself was an achievement. That's not all, the Indian scientists spent the time caused in delays, in perfecting the flight control system, which was praised all over the world. But, not everything was going according to plan. The multi-mode radar, along with the Kaveri engine, failed to meet the requirements, not once but multiple times. The problem with the Kaveri engine was that it was making the LCA heavy, this would snatch the LCA status from Tejas itself, and it also did not provide the thrust LCA needed, while the multi-mode radar operated only in single mode. To address this problem, the Indian government asked the DRDO about the feasibility of both these systems, and whether any foreign assistance was needed, as by that time the embargo on India was lifted. DRDO responded by saying that, it does not require any foreign help, and will develop both systems on its own, that too before 2004. Year 2004 In 2004, the new Manmohan Singh government, set up a review committee to monitor the progress of the LCA. The committee, raised questions about the high altitude testing of the engine, as India had no facilities for the high altitude tests. As a result, the engine was sent to Russia, where it failed miserably, while the MMR on the other hand, still failed to provide any satisfactory results. And thus in 2005, it was decided that the next LCA prototype, will feature the F404 GEIN20 turbofan engine, along with the hybrid version of Israel's, l to elm 2032 multi-mode radar system. Surprisingly, even this did not change DRDO's stand on its failed systems, as it requested the government, to continue the development of both systems. And then finally in 2005, the prototype completed successful trials, while minor modifications being made, for each successive prototype that flew after that. Year 2011 After exhaustive yet successful trials, the LCA Tejas was finally declared, fit to serve the Indian Air Force. And to celebrate this, the aircraft was made public, on the Republic Day Parade in 2011. In 2012, the first naval LCA took to the sky. The LCA was never designed to meet Navy's requirements, but still under government's pressure, work on the naval variant went ahead in full swing. Year 2014 In 2014, Modi government came into power. It realized that in order to take the credit of LCA Tejas, the previous government had asked the scientists to make the Tejas operational by hook or crook. This created the mess out of a very ambitious project, and now the Modi government had to clean this mess. But at this stage nothing could be done. And any modification would be disastrous, but, the government also realized that LCA Tejas is exactly the type of aircraft India needs. Thus, to resolve this, the government decided to rename the IT as Mark I, and induct it into service as soon as possible, so that work on the original Tejas could begin as Tejas Mark 1A. Year 2016 Mass production of LCA Tejas begins, as first squadron known as the Flying Daggers, gets inducted into service. While in a shocking turn of events, the Indian Navy outright rejected the Tejas. 
blaming that the light combat aircraft is not light at all. The government acknowledged this fact, and dropped the naval LCA program. On the other hand, while the Indian media was busy criticizing the Tejas, it was grabbing eyeballs at the Bahrain air show. Not only that, countries like Sri Lanka and Egypt, even showed interest in buying the aircraft. And now after going through the entire Tejas story, let's find out whether it is a failure or not. First, the Tejas was developed as a replacement of MiG-21, and to challenge the F-16, and it succeeded in this. Not only that, the Tejas is even better than the Chinese JF-17, which was conceptualized a lot later. Second, the Tejas was designed to master the tail-less delta-winged structure, while developing composite materials. And not to forget the flight control system. Indian scientists had no prior knowledge for all these systems, but still it was successful beyond doubt. And now the negatives. The actual failure was the Kaveri engine, and not the fighter itself. It was DRDO's reluctancy to admit its failure, which delayed the project for so long. Next comes the MM radar, for this the DRDO has promised to equip the Tejas Mark 1A, with state-of-the-art AESA radar. And not to forget, the Mark II is being developed to meet the latest IAF requirements, and will incorporate fifth-generation jet fighter elements, which are intended to make way into the FGFA and AMCA. The Mark II will also see the incorporation of a new electronic warfare suite, which is being jointly developed with Israel. This is to have a new glass cockpit, with larger displays. The Mark II will have some 25 to 30 percent commonality in parts with the Mark I, and these parts are already in production. The Mark II is scheduled for flight testing by 2018. Our conclusion on the Tejas is that, it definitely was a success. Failure of engine, is not equivalent to failure of whole aircraft. And the inability of IAF to take action in the very beginning, followed by certain unavoidable circumstances, and finally, the mess created by the Manmohan Singh government, delayed the project this many years. Otherwise, Tejas would have been completed long time ago. What do you think? Was Tejas a success or a failure? Tell us in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do check out our other videos as well. Links to a few are on your screen. Please subscribe and do not forget to hit the like button. See you in another video. Thanks for watching.